Hi everyone, this is Derek the Nitwit, and thanks for checking in and welcome to all my new followers. I'm sorry it took so long to post another video. I am going to start trying to routinely post on Sundays. My goal is to eventually upload videos twice a week. I've been thinking about posting a few intro to loom knitting video tutorials. Loom knitting was my gateway into the yarn arts, and I still loom knit on a regular basis. I can't forget about my roots. It doesn't require as much coordination as knitting and crocheting, so it's a good project for kids and people with limited mobility. I haven't been up to a lot of exciting things this past week. I did finally get a haircut. Uh, I always know it's time for a trim when I wake up with bedhead. I have baby fun hair that is super thick and super curly. And when I've, if you can't tell by the facial hair, it's curly. When I've grown it out to any length of any decent length, it always looks like I've got a spiral perm. And I swear it wasn't this curly when I was a kid. I did get a electric blanket. I'm happy. Um, I'm just in time for the cooler temps. I haven't started using it yet. I like to keep it fairly cool in my house, generally around 60. So I've actually been running my air conditioner off and on for the past couple days. It's about mid thirties today outside. So I haven't run the air conditioner today. I know my cats are going to be happy when I break out the electric blanket because you know, they always want the warm spot. I got a crock pot because I'm finally tired of frozen dinners. And the sad thing was I couldn't remember with the size of my old crock pot. So I guessed, which wasn't the right thing to do. Um, I ended up getting a two quart crock pot, which is the absolute cutest little thing. Look at this. I have seen oil warmers you know, about this size. It's, I mean, two quarts is actually probably perfect for one person. I just, most of my recipes I make are for make ahead meals. So they generally have about 10 servings. I did figure out that I could cut the recipe in half and it barely fit in there, but at least it fit. Sunday, my sister and I went to our local day of the dead uh, festival. We volunteered to help set up basically, you know, setting up booths and helping vendors get their stuff set up and just, a lot of go for errands. We, and the neat thing about volunteering is, you know, because we were out there early, you know, we got good parking and, you know, close by the venue. And we also got a free t-shirt for helping out. And then they fed us lunch. So that was nice. And Tuesday, I helped my sister run some errands. She hates driving, especially in the city. And of course, all the places she needed to go were going to be in the city. You know, we had to get birth certificate and replacement social security card and things like that, but we got a lot, a lot of stuff done and, you know, I enjoy spending time with her. So this week, as far as crafting goes, I've mainly focused on making hats. I finished David's hat, which is, you know, just a simple little, you know, this, this one was actually knit and I have, you know, my hat and scarf that look like this. So I've, now it's time for me to start working on his scarf and, uh, you know, knitting the scarf is going to take a while just because it's so long. And I started, I did, you know, I, like I said, I broke out my loom because for making the hats, because I can whip out a loom knit hat in just a couple of hours and the two, you know, just real simple. These are knit, you know, both of these hats were with two, um, two strands of yarn at the same time, but they like, they have, you know, they have the brim, you know, doubled over every and that, but it's just real simple ones. You know, I like them. And, you know, like I said, that was the, one of the first things I learned, you know, to do was making the hats. So, the other thing I've done, uh, I put the junk bracelet or the junk blanket on hold because I'm working on the hats. And what I do is I create, I follow this pattern that the very beginning of it, when it's making the crown, you know, I have to follow the pattern because I don't have it memorized yet. So what I've been doing is I make the crown. And then when I am out riding the bus or waiting doctor appointments, whatnot, then I work on, you know, the rest of the hat. Once it gets past that, the, the initial, you know, sizing of it, it's just a, you know, single, or actually it's half double crochet, but it's just, you know, sing, you know, single stitch each all the way around. So it's, doesn't require any thinking. So, and then when it's done, you know, I have my little hat that I've made. Uh, so I've been doing that instead of working on the jump blanket. 
I've given out a, I'm getting a couple of hats done each day. I've given out a few to people I've run into riding the bus, at, but mainly I'm holding on to most of them so that I can go and donate to, you know, either to, you know, local homeless shelter to other options. I have um, also been making you know, my own lip balm. I am addicted to lip balm. Probably one of the biggest ways you could torture me is to lock me somewhere and just not let me have access to my lip balm. But I mean, it's a simple recipe. It's, you know, equal parts beeswax and solid coconut oil. And then add some essential oil for the scent. I use lavender and rosemary. That's my go-to scent for relaxation. So I did get a few things for my cat. I found this weird looking silicone cat brush. I got it on eBay for 40 cents. This thing, my cats are obsessed with it. I mean, they, they just, they absolutely love it. And Max, who is always relatively standoffish and doesn't always want to sit on my lap, has been coming over just so I can brush his hair with that. Plus it, I don't know if you can see on there, you know, it's good at grabbing the cat hair. So, uh, yeah, plenty of cat hair on there. So it helps cut down on their shedding. And then for me, Walmart has these, I love these, uh, instant goosebumps. They have them for a dollar because it's, you know, one of the Christmas things, but this is worth more than a dollar. I love these things. So, but anyway, that's what I've been up to this week. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to upload a, an intro to illuminating uh, hat video on Sunday. So I hope y'all yeah, will tune in for that. Um, I'm almost up to, well, I'm a little over 400 subscribers. So my next goal is going to be to get to 500 subscribers. So if you could, you know, like the video, share um, with some people, I appreciate it and have a great evening.